on a similar question. Now, people are worried, obviously, because you have a bunch of clowns who are supposedly the opposition to Obama. So uh, Natalia, who's also a LaRouche PAC supporter in the Midwest, she says, Mr. LaRouche, I would like to know, how can we find, finance, and positively get elected a new FDR? Uh, and is it too late in the election year to be able to do that? It's never too late to win a war, because when you consider the alternative. And this is a war. It's a war against oligarchism. And we're trying to get the people to get the guts. Now, the, the people make a mistake when, on democracy. Democracy is often a badly used word because people don't understand what it should mean as opposed to what they think it means. The essential thing is that mankind must progress. For man to progress, that means that mankind must develop. That development is, not, is partly physical powers, but it's primarily intellectual powers. So it's the development of the intellect of the human individual, which is the essence of this question of proper power. Now, therefore, some people will say the number of people who vote for something means the law. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Now, you don't do that by decree, but you do it by scaring the shame out of anybody who's on the wrong side on that question, as I did today. These people, these members of the Congress, some of whom I have a liking for, uh, personally, but they're acting like asses. They're cowardly asses. And they, you know, you say of them, let us bray. And that's, that's what, the point is you can ridicule whatever you have to do to get these people to stop being stupid. And the people do not have a right to be stupid. They shouldn't wish to be stupid. And therefore you're not oppressing them when you tell them not to be stupid. But what we have is people are being stupid. They're being corrupted. They like something. They want the sense of pleasure. They get a little more money than the next person. It's pleasure. They get something they think is fancier than somebody else is wearing. They think it's pleasure. And they don't think about that real pleasure is something that comes to you when you know you're about to die. It's the pleasure of knowing that you lived the good life and you've made a contribution to the future of humanity. And those thoughts, and that's what must be taught in schools. That must be what's taught in politics. I've often seen in my own experience in management consulting and so forth, the greatest pleasure in this sort of thing is to take somebody who's confused, but they want to accomplish something, and to be able to assist them in accomplishing something which they can claim as their own. You may have inspired them to do it. You may have helped to teach them to do it. But it's their right. It's their accomplishment. It belongs to them. And you want people to grab for what really belongs to them and should belong to them, their own sense of their achievement in life. And they've got to have a sense that what they're doing also is going to be reflected in what the benefits that people down the line are going to benefit from. And therefore, it, the idea of doing good, sometimes the word of doing good, to do go good, you know, which was often used in the United States, you know, to do good, uh, that's, yeah, that's the term. It's often made silly. But to do good is what Franklin did in actually creating the United States with his leadership from having left the Boston area and gone into Pennsylvania and been the spark internationally that made the United States possible, resting on what had happened in the previous century. And that's, that's goodness. That's, that's a good product. And the good product is a human being who makes the world after him or her better.